No. Okay, here we go. My review vlog. Time with me again, and we're almost done with the current batch. Let that go at all and talk about stuff. Well, more bright. I, that's the one I'm gonna be like, who no, knows what's next? Um, but anyway, um, yeah, here, here, gonna sing pairing. Uh, first up, we goulash like with me, written by Martin Olkin and Josh Shape Duet. So, mom. <laughs> okay, um, so. Uh, my old mom is making some goulash to answer in some competition, so we must protect it from Murphy Law. That's more or less the gist. The rest of the episode is... Uh, stuff. Um, the episode starts nonsense now. Having someone in time for a gun, obviously for the King Kikuchi, or someone of that nature, and I click kind of like to me. Um, telling them about the war involving robotic owls that was made by the metal man with a goulash face, goulash for a head, goulash thing, goulash for a head that gave them from that. And the kind of didn't believe him, and he told them the story of how things got to that point to where he was there to fight the robot owls, and that kind of began to our plot. That's how it starts. <laughs> it, the cup code, even by visual standard, is very random. Honestly, the plot to the point of stuff still kind of... It's still like they just feel... I know it's like about weird random thing going on, but they're giving more of a cohesion than it is in that cup code. Where things do connect, I suppose, but it just go random. The plot is extremely haphazard. And the thing at the beginning, it probably just there. Maybe they find plot... I, I don't know, but it makes sense, like, how things get to the point from the beginning with the goulash guy. You know, things do connect, and even, you know, you know, uh, do much work gets involved, you know, kind of things go wrong, which causes some of it to happen. Although, actually, some of it is fault, because he, for no particular reason, you know what I mean by being half haggard, he just kind to go through doing sort of stuff, knowing something weird or wrong get in there, and that causes some of the conflict like that. Although, like, one of the uh, the camp couldn't so much stuff in it that it's hard to keep track and get a coherent review. Um, like, the camp could have featured some odd references. Like, we first meet doing sort of the camp code, he was singing the song from Moon Farm, you know, about like Baji Kong. Of all songs from the beginning, they picked that one. And then the chicken replaced in the air from what a croc again. You know, that quote makes me no one remembers. Um, I like that one fine, but I don't remember it that often. If you catch a horse in a book game, that's the only legacy like, that it put out a horse in a book game. But back from random reference. Not a random, well, it's also random when Love Handle just appeared at the end. Uh, there's a song in the episode where I, that sounded like Love Handle. I'm uh, basically like, is that Love Handle? Which they make that joke too. It's not a variation, it's just the same joke. Just with not someone who can do it for Um, at least they didn't. I don't know if Doom Shrek in a uh, Junking Started ish episode, but you know they all wanted to have him come in and go, wait, that's a King Started? But thankfully, Ducting Muffin Law won that feature of that band, yeah. Not Ducting, Managing. Title, I swear. You know, um, <laughs> yeah, go. Um, yeah, the love handle up here and get like, it's neat, but I don't know, I don't know, if I don't do much work, I feel like the camera could be a little cooler. But it's nice to hear a voice of Jared Riddick again, I guess. Um, um, so that, that's very cool. Oh, come on, it's Gak's fault, and, I don't know, he's not too much of a jerk, but, and I understand they need new way. They want Murphy Gall to be a, you know, big thing, easy way to start up, you know, conflict, but, I don't know. But it gets saying that they finally remembered that Norm exists. Um, apparently doing Trick and Rushing just now, like 10 plus half hours into the PN, remembering to go through the stuff that could buy the building explosion, which involved Norm head. His body apparently took on, and they tried to find a new one for him. Um, uh, kind of took a point, Cartag Norm didn't appear to, uh, not give you a pedal out of there, but he's probably dead. Um, no, he can make try on. I mean, he's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, they explain where he is. Apparently, he did provide a building explosion. Why didn't it bring it up among the... Because they're doing for, like... Again, maybe for the whole episode about Norm, 
the point that dudes don't get forgetting Norm in favor of the new family. Maybe that'd be neat. Because that lined up with a real boy. We're having a damn that episode, and, you know. But no. Honestly, it feels like they forgot about him until the up were like, oh yeah, he he should be here. So, they make, well, this place should make sense, but it's like a couple episodes for the crossover. It makes sense, but it's so long after it that it's like, well, I even bother. But he doesn't get the best line in the couple of code. Yeah. Uh, oh, look at I. I joke to, I joke to, it reminds me of the line in, um, in, I believe, a movie where he, he said, I can aggression in the maximum security. He doesn't like kill that one, which is a big mood, honestly. Um, so yeah. Um, so he gets some good line, and that's a good laugh, definitely. He's all around there, it's funny, and that. Uh, and, you know, doing some stuff again. I don't know, maybe I'm fine to concretize, and because we're using him, at least in the okay way, it's not gonna bother me, but, I don't know, he's trying to get more use, but, um, so, yeah, um, the cup of death for you, I don't know how to feel about it, I like it, and it's entertaining, it, oh, look, uh, the awkward joke where, um, I probably spoiling all the jokes, but I don't care, they cannot spoiling how things get to the beginning. <laughs> Um, where the norm act like who, uh, get going, oh, we can get a truly new, new theory of event. Yeah. Uh, those jokes are funny in moderation, I think. And it worked here. Um, entertaining, like, I think I quoted, decently entertaining with some good jokes, some dumb part, but mostly entertaining. But writing, like, it is just a clusterfuck. You know, it's like, you know, even by this show standard, there's about ranks of happening, it feels like they had, that he had to protect Goulash. And they decide, you know, we usually just take more primary and trash them out, but this one we're just gonna think connect, okay, go, it's not too haphazard, but I got a couple parts for a conflict for a start. You know, it feels like particularly like, I don't know, it's getting towards me and you know, I get by that point they're just like, Pfft. but it gets entertaining, so I think I think it is good just for entertainment, may not took a plot cohesion. It's not a good show for that, like, I don't know, the story never been that tight on the show anyway, so that's fine. Um, now for the episode I have considerably left the game out, A Dog Who Knew Too Much, written by Joshua Pirouette, Dan, Valerie, and Marja. Yeah, I'm just going to that. Okay, keep going. So, um, you know, so this is, um, basically like a geek with AG and TDOG, but this time, uh, the, the OG M got back to Perry when he's doing one of the mission can basically he they left a team up and more DOG tag along for his adventure. Like he's trying to stop the burger guy from doing something, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Go so, uh, well meanwhile, Gak and Milo are off doing a thing. Go after the begin like is the DOG, the period the beginning, what DOG is gone, that get until the end where they reappear. Um, so we can make a kick with that But there is, unlike that, because there is a subplot where, um, Doofenshmirtz, um, um, basically Doofenshmirtz and, uh, Kara are trying to basically have an easy way to do laundry and pick up clothes and stuff like that. Because have been very lazy and flacking with that. So, yeah, I'm going to do for Kara kind of flip so it's like gone in a weak way and do stay out. Um, the cup code I, I like to find. I like to buy as much AGTOG. I like that they're in a cup plot in the time. And it's cool to see Perry like, doing other things, guy buying doing some work, buying other type. Um, um, I do, they are remembering that Doof and Perry are odd, where I, I can't remember if they're the other one, but Perry helped come out. I want, there's a point of Perry more in it. I don't think you get all of the other one, but you react them out briefly and you go, no, nope, don't mad at you. And, like, yeah, okay. that's nice. Um, yeah. Mm. And so, yeah, um, yeah, I, again, I like a couple, I, I didn't like a couple that much. Um, it, I don't know, dude, I don't know, it's like, I don't know, man, when you have other aspects of character back on, you can the main stick of he can't do anything right, it's fine, but they think like the only show they can do with him, and I think if you ever have a game to link go for a variation, before that's really all it is. It can pair at odd again. You know, very, yeah, I have to get Stark off kind of funny, but. No, Stark off a little annoying. Then get funny, and then get pretty annoying in the end. Um, 
I do like the joke where they high five. Like, wait, no, you can't all the take them at that high five. And like, think right. A film written on a dumb joke where nothing was accomplished. Even dumber than the joke we did in My Little Shadow. Um, but I could couple on it quite let Clyde go. A couple on had at the moment, but I didn't care for it. Um, yeah, particularly. Um, but uh, the main part was fun. Again, and Clyde should just go. Again, it much like that when it feels like we're watching Phoenix forever again, but it looked very funny. It kept feeling different. People who these ones who are totally bland, but they have a few good jokes. But from here and then, you know, it is fun to get the DLD club up into parry stuff. Yeah, they gave it a cute interaction I have at the end. So, yeah, I I think my DLD was funnier. Um, but I think this one does a slightly better job of standing out. And you know, at this point, they more or less got along. We're gonna remind you of Sneak for might as well. No, that probably has been forgotten, but I would have benefited if maybe we have seen Yeah, so, because we already did that shake and you didn't do it, it's not funny in the kind of time you do it. Uh, but, I think I would have liked the cop code more easily, and more easily would like it over agent, agent DOG. If, if a cop out was better, because I just didn't care if a cop out. It's not bad, necessarily, but, you know, I call it one good, but I need to rewatch it and decide if kind of a humor holds up on a kind of viewing. Cause I think I'm calling up with Coke, I haven't watched him again. Well, I think up with Coke, even the Infinite League, for might weaker on a kind of viewing, because with jokes, uh, funny. And come, again, come up with Coke with a show, I still think I'm pretty, for like, the first thing I come up with Coke, I still find, like, I'm going to find where I still find the entertaining viewing, but kind of being, they might diminish, I don't know. When they do air again, I'll be rewatching them on TV, go, so. but both me. Uh, well, quickly we've got plot, the key is we can go that really drag one down to a decent, or if we make plot good enough to keep that afloat, but we'll keep it. Well, I like it, that we've got plot, I'm going to like it over each of you, as you want, because that was about the game. That one I thought was entertaining, and I wasn't enjoying it, in spite of the fact that the bitch is lit, the feeling for die, curiously. It's like, the other point that Dead came come to that, so why I thought we'd stop at this point. But, you know, go, there you go, there, but yeah, the cup goes to all find up a code, and, you know. Oh, yeah, um, probably been definitely more picked against, um, other few more, that's why I have dog run creamer, and I remember a few which were fine, but only had a few standout moments for me. Um, they're done with wall, which, okay, I'm, it looked pretty good, I just don't think it was super amazing or super important. Uh, then this pairing, where it's one, pretty entertaining, but kind of a mess. And this one where I will have a couple of that for a week. So, but not that moment. So, um, yeah, I think we're back for a slight clump again. We found my uncle was just that good. I don't even think I was amazing, but they were quite good. Um, look like I could be being weaker, but we got to be the king quality if I ain't seen that one. <laughs> um, so I just remember that looking at the batch, now I'm able to watch. I told you about that podcast that my friend Kevin had talked about Milo. And linked up, because we do cover Lady Curl and along with Kamara, and, um, uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to Kimo talk, her talk about it. Um, that'll be out for a couple months by the time it's going up, but, yeah, that class to look forward to when I'm done with this batch. And I believe I only have one more has on her in the current batch anyway. But yeah, but now we're going to make the Black Gang of, uh, pairing, but overall, I think we're going to have entertainment value in Elite. Oh, God, I was reading, uh, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> um, okay, um, um, here we go, an hour, but I'm glad they at least remember Norman Brown back, even if we're too little too late, it at least makes a lot of what we do with him, go back, fine. Uh, I bet your buddy can ride along little doggy, shit, I found a kid, Come on, the joke there, but... Oh yeah, well there you go. One more half hour. I don't know how many hours could be in the king again, like I said. Um, yeah. Um, but how many half hours is this? Uh, maybe counting uh, things for about two episode two. Um, episode go. Um, 
this is episode 15. Um, get ready to go. Well, we don't know how many we're going to be. Probably at least 20 to 21. Like the one here, one and both moving for. I believe we've got 20 kids plus, naturally, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, a fine pairing, but definitely a, a mixed uh, blessing here and there. But but that's I found kind of interesting, and I hear like another character they finally remembered, but. Without fully remember that doing should be teaching, but that can kind of cool. Oh well. Uh, thank you for that.